Hi everyone, my name is Paulina and I'm the founder and executive director for the Idaho Museum of International Diaspora or IMID and I am here in my pantry because I'm going to talk about one particular ingredient that some of you may not know about and so I wanted to show you and, and prepare you for the actual cooking class made possible by the Idaho Office for Refugees and Welcoming America, uh, partners of the Idaho Museum of International Diaspora. So the cooking class is September 19th and yours truly, me as the chef, I will be making Lao egg rolls the way that the Lao people make it. And so this will be an exciting adventure, not just for me, but hopefully for you, uh, for those who've signed up. So if you haven't already, please go in and register to receive your meal kit, which is the kit that'll have some of the dry ingredients that you'll need to make the actual egg rolls. And so join me again, September 19th live. But let's talk about this one ingredient really quick, and that is the mushrooms, right? So here behind me is an assortment of mushrooms. For one, I love mushrooms, but also it's one of the main ingredients within the Lao egg rolls. And so let me just grab one really quick. This one is called dried black fungus. The recipe calls for tree ear mushroom or wood ear mushroom or dried black fungus. It's basically the same kind of mushroom. In Laos, we actually call this hit hu nu, which literally translates into rat's ear mushroom because when you soak it, it's like a cartilage, right? So a rodent's ear mushroom. And so what I like to purchase, and if you can find it, most of, if not all of your Asian, Asian grocery stores will carry this, but I'm not sure Whole Foods or a specialty grocery foods uh, store will carry this, but uh, you might want to double check before going over there. I get something that's already cut up if you can find it, and I'll show you here. But as you can see, it's already cut up, so that way when you soak it, uh, and, and drain the excess water, you can just easily chop it up and put it in the egg, room, egg roll mixture, which acts as an absorbent to absorb the excess uh, mixture juices because you don't, you definitely don't want soggy egg rolls because you want them to be crispy. So there you have it, the mushrooms. I'm excited to take you on this Lao culinary adventure with a twist of uh, storytelling. So September 19th, join me, the Idaho Office for Refugees and Welcoming America. I'll have a link down at the post. And so uh, have a wonderful evening and I hope to see you soon.